Hello, this is Kevin from kboss2hm.co.uk. Today I'm going to show you how to install Google Analytics on your Jupro 8 website. It's really easy to do, but for newer people, yeah, it's a little bit different. So, first of all, you know, search for, you know, let's go back here, let's uh, search for uh, Google Analytics. Analytics Jupyter. Here we go. So it's by using version eight. We're gonna install it, but if you had Jupyter seven, it would just be some same case. Um, simply. Right click, copy the link address, and sign into your Drupal, install new module, and we'll hit install. That's it all up and running. So let's enable it now. And there it is. So let's just just make sure it's got everything it needs. Yep. Click on that, and then install. So this will basically enable it now on your Jupyter 8 website. It's pretty much the same, same way with uh, Jupyter 7 as well. And we'll just wait a few seconds for this for the server to catch up. There we go, that's it installed. So let's go back to the hour again, see if the configuration's in here. I'm sure this, so let's go to configure. So next you jump over to Google, you'd get your analytics ID, put it in here. And that would be you done. So I'm just going to now pause this quickly and go and get the analytics. So here I've quickly uh, went into Google Analytics, signed up for me tracking code. Just going to get the tracking ID now. And we've got to agree to everything. And I accept. There we go. And there is our tracking ID. This is what we need. Looks like this is going to be dead now. Start there. Let's save that. See if that's working.
jumped in just yet. Uh, mind that be, let's jump onto the front of the site instead. Because you can configure it to take the admin out, etc. So there we are, and then there you go. That shows us that it's successfully installed. Thanks for watching, and any comments, just send them through.